Hi guys! Today I would like to tell you about three everyday tools I use to teach English, but I also recommend them to my clients because they help you organize and optimize your process of learning English. Just so you know, I am Tatiana Bilakin and I help intermediate level learners of English to improve their vocabulary using movies and TV shows, to communicate better, to connect with each other, and to have fun learning English. So uh, now I'm going to share my screen so that you could see what I'm talking about, okay? So um, uh, today you will learn about three apps or three resources that you can use all of three of them are free to use and they will uh, help you organize and streamline your learning process so that you don't have to decide every day what you need to do and where you need, need to write it down or what you need to use. The first tool I recommend using is ClickUp. It's a way you can set your learning intentions. So what you want to achieve what you want to do and the way you can track your progress so uh, ClickUp is really great for that because you can create lists with projects also you can set uh, deadlines and routines with repeated tasks also it allows uh, tracking progress and tracking time uh, also you can um, share projects for example your teacher can create a project for you with specific tasks and share it with you and you will know what to do and at what time so uh why i like this app let me show you okay uh here is ClickUp, and i created several projects already just to show you how you might organize it you don't have to but this is just an idea. So this is the uh, space called Learning English. And I have created a project called Conversational Lessons. And uh, here you can see uh, September and October. Um, so these are projects. So September project, uh, topic sightseeing. That's what we are going to discuss. And here you have subtasks. Do you see? Lesson 1, Lesson 2, Lesson 3. And you can give them dates, so you can set specific dates. So this is just one of the options if you want to have conversation lessons with your teacher. Participating in a movie club is a great project for someone who loves watching movies and who loves talking about them. You can create uh, such a project with similar subtasks. For example, watch the movie, fill the journal, consider or answer the questions. Optionally, you can uh, activate your vocabulary, you can participate in the group, and you can attend the meeting, and you can write a review if you want to. All of these tasks have deadlines, and they are also repeated. So you see, uh, they repeat every two weeks on specific days, so you don't have to create um, task for every time for every movie that we have they will be created automatically after you complete the task if you are not particularly interested in movies um, you might uh, consider reading texts in English and analyzing them and learning this way so you can create specific projects for each article you want to read you want to finish and because articles are usually long you can uh, divide them into you know part one part two part three each of them can be just a few paragraphs two three paragraphs long so that you can do them in one sitting another option was uh, watching tv show this was a group program that where you could practice uh, listening speaking and writing and uh, you can discuss uh, one week we discussed one episode the next week we discuss the second episode etc so um, if you enroll in such a program or any other kind of course interactive course you can create a separate list for that a separate project for that and track its progress as you can see this one is already closed this one is still open because you haven't done it yet okay and um, yeah, and this is the project that your teacher, for example, shared with you. So here you can see uh, what you need to do to start working with your teacher. 
uh, some information about classes, um, the link to your learning pro portal in OneNote. This is the next tool I'm going to discuss. Um, links to different schedules, how to pay, etc. So all the main information, you can find it here. You can find it, you can read it, and you can mark it done after you're finished. And your teacher will know that you have read it and that you know it now. Okay, so it's pretty handy. Pause the video here. Create an account in the ClickUp app. Create a couple of projects to see how it works. And after you're finished, come back here and watch the rest of the video. Okay, I'll wait. Why I like ClickUp more than any other app I tried before is uh, because it has a feature called Home. Let me show you. It gives you the overview of what you need to do for today. All the tasks with due date today, so what you have to do today, will show up here. And uh, you can uh, mark the priority, for example. This is urgent. Lesson 2, this is not urgent, but uh, important, etc. And uh, what I also like is that you can move them uh, to line up. Line up is basically uh, all the things you need to do like one after another and after you're finished you can just remove it from here also you can have a look at the overdue that you were supposed to do for example yesterday or the day before yesterday or last week but you haven't finished it so uh, you can also put it here so you can move things around also it's handy to have a calendar I start my morning with this page and I organize everything and I see exactly what I need to focus on Okay, this was the first tool. Now we are moving on to the next one. The next tool I'm going to talk about uh, is OneNote. It's uh, free, it's safe to use, and you can use it from your mobile and on your computer, and you can synchronize across devices. It's one of my favorite tools, and I have been using it for about 10 years at least. I have recommended it a lot of times to my clients and some of them have started using it on a regular basis. For example, uh, for recipes and for home improvement projects and stuff like that. But today I want to talk about how you can use OneNote to organize your notes and materials for learning English. Okay, let's get into it. I'm going to share my screen. OneNote is the tool that I use to collect the information about English and also to later find that information in the notebook. So uh, let's have a look at what it allows you to do. Windows systems have a very handy function called Sticky Notes. Um, so this is the icon. You can right-click it and choose New Note. You can write a question um, that you have uh, that you want to ask your teacher later. You can write uh, some interesting word you heard in the movie or TV show. You can save different kind of quotes, etc. The second way, it's pretty handy, it's a web clipper. For example, if you want to save this article into OneNote, into your notebook for later, you can click this um, extension, it's OneNote clipper, and you will see the window with several choices. You can clip it as an image. What I usually do and I recommend doing is saving it as an article. So you can later select, edit, highlight, do whatever you want with this article. So you can choose which notebook you want to save it to. I created a special notebook just to, for testing purposes. It's called My English and let's say you want to save it reading medical English or just reading. You can call it reading. You can uh, save just a bookmark. So there is no text, just a bookmark with a link. If you want to save a particular part of the page, something like a screenshot, you can also use OneNote. For example, you want to save uh, this word, challenging, with all the information about it. So you can do it like that. Select and save. You can also change uh, the title and add your notes if necessary. You can write the translation, for example, and click clip. That's it. So let's have a look how OneNote looks on the inside. 
so i created a notebook and called it my english notebook and in it i created the sections that have the same projects that i mentioned before in the ClickUp. Um, so conversation lessons reading um, articles ted lasso english this is the group course that you can take movie club this is a free speaking opportunity links and tools vocabulary grammar and hub it's like organization so uh, let's have a look at what type of content you can save into a note so first of all you can save links you can click it and it will open in the browser you can save worksheets for example here you can see a pdf file that you can write inside uh, on top so uh, you can save the content you want to read or you want to watch for example this is an article um, that I saved from the internet I highlighted the unfamiliar words I wrote down some translations uh, and for example I can write discussion questions etc um, so another option is you can save audio tracks songs or recordings you can save them inside one note and play them uh, also you can save videos from YouTube uh, when you insert a link it transforms into this sort of uh, video you can play it inside one note or you can go to YouTube and watch it there um, also you can uh, save images for example in this case um, I saved uh, the image of table with tenses and of course you can also save uh, words and phrases you can uh, take screenshots like I showed you before or you can just uh, create a page and write down the word for example the word sufficient and you can write down examples uh, that you copied uh, from an article or something like that um, okay so now let me walk you through what it looks like on some specific examples if you're talking about conversation lessons for example this is the kind of note I would have when I have conversation lessons with my clients uh, first of all they are dated it's very easy to insert a date in one note and easy to track how many classes you had and on what days I use a stylus on my tablet to take notes but you can totally uh, type here typing is also fine I find it very useful to use a highlighter for unfamiliar words or words you want to remember so that's how it usually goes we have a class and i take notes and at the end of the class we go back to these phrases that you had trouble with and i helped you with you want to remember or uh, phrases that uh, where you made a mistake so that's one way to work uh, if you have conversation classes so that's how you can use one note it's like a notebook and a blackboard or whiteboard um, in one right so the second way is you can uh, work on your own you can read articles you can highlight unfamiliar words you can look up the meanings you can create questions you can discuss those questions with someone if you need to um, so that's another way of, of working uh, with English speaking content then um, you can take part in some kind of course group course this one is based on Ted Lasso TV show uh, so each week we discussed one episode and um, there was a workbook each week and we discussed in the telegram chat there are some materials I shared like a character map grammar activities um, for example in this case it's about plans and intentions and there are some exercises you can do language notes uh, some interesting phrases uh, sometimes slang sometimes phrasal verbs uh, sometimes just new unfamiliar words that uh, catch uh, during an episode uh, the script file based on the subtitles discussion and feedback when we had a group meeting I took some notes and uh, wrote them down and we discuss those uh, feedback from the chat I just copied it and pasted it here the same goes for episode 2 episode 3 and episode 4 that we discussed in the uh, course uh, movie club this is a free option and it starts with some club rules um, you can read them 
uh, you can register by following any of these links and uh, you can download the movie journal it's a free template you can right click and save as and save it either to your desktop or your uh, documents etc here is an example how you can uh, fill it in you can use a stylus if you have one or you can just start typing you know um, the answers so there are several pages also each movie for each movie I send questions so you can consider these questions and make your own notes here which you can then later share at the meeting at our hangout uh, you can also save your own notes pictures or links or resources about the movie the movies that you like um, here links and tools uh, I'm going to talk about Longman a little bit later today download one note this is the link where you can download it uh, English placement test it's like how to figure out which level you are at right now uh, some other tools you can use for English to, to improve your English so uh, that's how uh, notebooks work I just wanted to show you that you I can also share I also share some notebooks with my clients for example resources communities um, a notebook I recently created for my readers you can use learning resources and the links I shared here uh, to practice English uh, on your own for example if you don't have a teacher um, um, you can get access to this notebook after you subscribe to my uh, newsletter so let me know if you're interested and we are moving on to our final tool for today the third tool that i use every day is a dictionary no matter how long you have been learning english you still keep learning it and you can never say that i know it perfectly that's why even as a teacher i use learners dictionaries uh, oxford learners dictionary and longman learners dictionary i prefer longman uh, for one simple reason, it shows you how frequent the word is with the help of these uh, red circles. Uh, I find that really handy. And uh, I will show you what other useful information you can find there by sharing my screen. Okay, let's have a look at Longman. So any kind of information I need to find about language, I usually look it up in a dictionary. And I prefer Longman because it uh, gives you information about word frequency, about the meaning of the word with very good and clear explanations, uh, information about the pronunciation, also collocations and examples. And I forgot to write it down, but it also gives you good grammar information. By the way, I have a video series uh, about using Longman dictionary so you can also look it up later after this video so let's have a look at uh, Longman dictionary uh, here is what it looks like let's say you are looking for the word refuse so it's very clear that this word is a very frequently used word very common words three circles like almost all dictionaries it has pronunciation uh, the explanations grammar information is given in green also you can see collocations in bold also there is a special box dedicated to collocations which is really handy examples are pretty useful and sometimes you can see grammar information let me show you I'm looking up the word recommend uh, which is tricky because it causes some problems and here you can see the grammar box and here you can in red you can see uh, typical mistakes with this word so don't say I recommend her to speak to a lawyer right instead of that we say I recommend that she speak to a lawyer also don't say I recommend her a book say her I recommend a book to her so these are two most typical mistakes as you can see Longman dictionary offers you information about frequency, about pronunciation, about grammar, about collocations, basically how words connect together, and very good examples. So I highly recommend this dictionary. Also, if you go back to home page, you will see such useful sections as a word of the day and exercises.
Just let's practice a little bit. So collocations with attempt. Uh, which of the following is a typical collocation that describes an attempt that does not succeed? A failing attempt, a deceiving attempt, or a vain attempt? Let's say I choose a vain attempt. You can do something similar. There are a lot of different kinds of exercises here. This is just about collocations, and there are a lot of them. You can choose something else about phrasal verbs, about uh, register, about culture, etc. So it's really, really useful. I recommend it. And every time you hesitate about the meaning of the word or the pronunciation, look it up in the dictionary. Okay? That would be all for now. There is one other resource that I haven't listed. This resource that I'm talking about is your English learning community. And it gives you the feeling of belonging. It provides you with feedback. And it also allows accountability. When you know that you have to show up, when you know that somebody's going to ask you about what you have been doing and how much progress you made, etc. So your community is what keeps your learning together. It's why you keep coming back and it helps you not to quit. So it's important to have an out of class community. So somewhere where you can use English outside the class. It can be a language partner, somebody you feel comfortable talking to in English that you can share ideas with. If you are a gamer, uh, you can be part of a, an English speaking clan where you have to communicate in English. It can be a speaking club where you talk about anything that interests you, anything you like. Uh, or it can be a movie club, uh, like the one that I have. It's uh, free to attend, so we get together and we talk about the movie that all of us have watched. And usually it's very informal, the atmosphere is very nice, and all of us are really looking forward to seeing each other. So if you like movies, you are really welcome to join us. Um, that's it, guys. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, let me know in the comments. Also, drop a question if you have one. Okay, see you soon.